it's Tidy and this is my 2001 Integra The Crosser. So not too long ago, I replaced my distributor O-ring and found that my cap and rotor were worn out. And so I told my fiance to stop by the Honda dealership to get a brand new cap and rotor. And he was able to bring them home pretty early today. So I'm gonna um, replace them today. So let's get to it. Okay, before we start working on the distributor, uh, we wanna unplug it for safety. So you're going to push this down to get the clip out. And then you're going to press on this. And then I can I can push it over here. So the distributor cap is held on by 3 8 millimeter bolts that also have Phillips heads on them as well. I recommend using a socket and a ratchet to remove them instead of a Phillips screwdriver because there's going to be less chances of you stripping them. So here's a close-up of where the bolts are. So that's one, two, and the last one is underneath here. That's the last one. Also, you should keep in mind that the cap actually catches the bolts and so they're not gonna go all the way out. So to remove the rotor, you need to remove a screw through this opening right here. Currently, the screw is on this side, so you're gonna have to turn the motor over to get it to this side. Okay. One more time. A little bit more. Got it. So for close-up, that's the screw that you're going to need to remove to remove the rotor. So you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. I got the screw out. Sometimes they pop right off and sometimes you have to wiggle them off. But looks like mine just pops right off. So every time you replace the cap, you want to also replace this gasket that's on the dis distributor. So for this, you're gonna need a pick. That's the old one. And this is the new one. Okay, so now we're gonna put the new rotor on. in the screw okay so now we're gonna put the new cap on I like to hand tighten the bolts first before finally securing them in place So the next thing we need to do is to transfer over the wires to the new cap and then finally reconnect everything and we should be good to go.
the last thing we need to do is just to plug everything back up and then we're done. you replace your cap and rotor if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and thank you again for watching and stay tuned bye